What's going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today I'm bringing you guys another custom build in GTA. Now, what we're going to be doing this time is a little bit different. We're going to be sticking a turbo and full engine upgrades on a minivan, and we're going to see what happens, because <laughs> I've never done this before, although I've always wanted to try it. So, um, we're going to go ahead and put as much armor as we can, um, race brakes, if we can get there, there we go, race brakes, and then engine, level 4. And avoid the explosives and the horn. We'll do the lights, though. Um, I, I'm debating on whether or not I should kind of keep it a little bit of a sleeper or not. I'm kind of... For the first time, I'm just going to, like, go completely over the top with it. You know, with new new wheels and everything. And just, you know, crazy colors and stuff like that. But maybe in the future, I'll do, like, a sleeper uh, minivan build. So, we'll leave the color the way it is now. And we'll come back to the color. So, for the suspension... We can only go as far as street, which is fine because, I don't know, the, having race suspension would be cool, but we don't really need it right now. Race transmission we definitely need, though, and uh, of course the turbo. Now for the wheels, um, I'm not sure exactly because you're, when, you're, when you're building something like this, I mean, are you really trying to be official about it you know I, I almost think like if you're gonna build a turbo fully upgraded minivan it's almost gonna be a joke oh like it's almost always gonna be a joke anyway so the wheel choice mm, maybe should reflect that i'm not sure i don't know we'll see those actually look kind of uh kind of nice though hmm I'm not set on a specific wheel yet. Those are those are pretty nice, though. So are those. Those are nice. I, I think I'm going to just go ahead and go with those for now. And let's see if we can... Let's get the accessories on them now, like the custom tires and the bulletproof tires, because I don't want to forget about those and then have to do them later. Um, and then for the wheel color, actually, let's see if we can get... That white looks cool. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we might actually stay with the white. Because it it should fit with the color scheme I have planned uh, for the actual van itself. Go ahead and get, yeah, limo tint on the windows. And get the actual color now. Now I'm looking at, I was think what I was thinking of specifically was a matte red to go along with the white wheels. And I think that looks kind of cool and it also gives a sort of a performance look. I mean, again, as much of a performance look as you can get from a minivan, but still, it's very cool. So I'm going to go ahead and do the matte red, but then for the secondary color, we're going to change that gloss black to a matte black. And I think it's ready to, I think it's ready to test out, honestly. Let me just go ahead and make, uh, I'm going to go through and I'm going to make sure that I didn't miss anything. Um, yeah, I didn't miss anything. All right, we're good to go. We're good to see how we're going to see how like I said, fully upgraded engine, fully upgraded transmission, full turbo. We're going to see what it does to a minivan. You don't really notice the performance immediately like off the line. I feel like you notice it more uh once you get going like we are now, but off the line it's not great. Um but wow, once you get it up to speed though, it's a little, okay, it's a little twitchy, um, and I feel like that's just because of the fact that this, uh, this was never meant to have anywhere close to this much power, but it's a little bit twitchy, and later on in the video, I'm gonna see if I can drift it. I'm not totally sure if I can or not, but I'm gonna see, um, if that's even possible. A little bit more angle than I was hoping for, but first try with the car, so there's definitely gonna be a little bit of getting used to it. See what we can do with this next corner right here. Not too bad for a first attempt. Not too bad. Uh, yeah, whip it around because I don't want to hit that cop and get into a chase. Leave me alone. Go away. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Thank you. Dang, I hate when they follow me around. The balance of it is weird. That's why I feel like it's, it's hard to maintain it in a corner sometimes because the balance is kind of strange. I mean, once you bring it back, 
it's okay once you hit that um, that point of angle where you know the car is going to straighten out again, you're all right, but it, uh, it does feel a little bit weird. Maybe that's because of the, the, the way the weight is balanced. I'm not too sure. I mean, again, maybe it's the, just the type of the vehicle, which could very well be the case because this was never meant to go sideways in the first place. And as you can see, it just keeps getting more angle than I'm than I'm uh, than I'm either trying to get or more angle than I than I want to get out of that corner. There we go. But with this, even when you're counter steering, it doesn't really want to. Um, it doesn't really want to straighten uh, straighten out again. It's weird. It it just kind of wants to uh, stay sideways. It has. It's almost like, not like it has no choice, but that that the balance of it is really awkward. See, as you can see, like a lot of my uh, most of my cars wouldn't have spun right there. Like I was off the throttle and everything. And most cars in GTA, if you're sideways and you're off the throttle completely, then you will most likely straighten out again. This won't. Even with even when you keep tapping the e-brake, it'll still um it'll still get more angle than you're looking for. It takes tons of adjustments to keep it straight. It really really does. It's probably one of the most uh difficult vehicles I've tried so far um just to keep sideways. And that would have actually been really good if we didn't go into a light pole, but... <laughs> for the final thoughts and opinions on this thing, it's interesting. Would I say it's a good build? Um... Eh, I don't know. Maybe if you're looking for something, um, just different to put in your garage. If you're looking for something effective for racing or, or drifting or power sliding, um, then, I mean, you should look elsewhere, honestly, if... Just literally just being uh, effective is your goal. Avoid this thing at all costs because you'll be disappointed. But if you want something that's extremely, uh, extremely uh, fun and just kind of an offbeat thing to have in your garage, then I mean, definitely check it out because I think it's good. I think it's definitely a cool vehicle, and. It takes out pedestrians very easily. But uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.